I'm Chris Duke and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to install a rear sway bar on a pickup truck. This is Tool Talk. Ugh. Helwig Suspension Products makes a ton of different sway bars for various vehicles. Now they provided this one to us. This is part number 7899 for the installation on our 2011 F-150. Now this one fits all 2009 up Ford F-150 trucks. It's got a 1 and 1 8 inch diameter bar. And since our truck is lifted 6 inches, this comes with all the necessary hardware for a truck that's already lifted 4 to 6 inches. The tools you'll need are very basic. We use joint pliers to aid with bushing installation, wrenches sizes 5 8 11 16 3 quarter and 7 8 ratchets and sockets size 3 quarter inch deep, 5 8 inch deep, and 3 quarter inch short. Install the threaded plates inside the rear shock cross members. Then attach the clevis to that threaded plate using the bolts provided. After lubricating the hourglass shaped bushings with the supplied lubricant, insert them into the end links, then install the metal sleeves. This is where we use the joint pliers to get them in there. Assemble the end links using the 9 16 inch jam nut. You want to leave this loose as we'll have to adjust it later. Install the end links to the clevis that you just installed using the provided hardware. Again, you want to leave this loose for now. Grab the two D bushings and lube them up good. Then install them on the sway bar along with the U plates. Attach the sway bar's U plates to the supplied U bolts over the axle. And again, you want to leave everything loose. Attach the ends of the sway bar to the end link. You want to use the outermost hole initially. You can change this later if you want to firm things up. You want the sway bar to be as horizontal to the ground as possible, so if it's too angled, adjust the end links. Check for clearance to make sure no wires or hoses will be crushed. It's a good idea to have somebody bounce the rear end of the vehicle up and down while someone else looks underneath to ensure nothing's getting hit. Now the final step is to torque everything down per the torque specs of the installation instructions and it's not a bad idea to check everything again after about a week of driving around. Well there you have it, a very simple bolt-on solution to give your vehicle more load and sway control. Doesn't require any welding, any cutting, drilling, or any other weird fabrication to get it installed because because it just mounts up into factory locations and the installation is pretty quick. You need some tools, but they give you everything else. It's also one of those products that you notice the benefits of immediately, whether you're just pulling out of your driveway or turning a corner or swerving to avoid an obstacle in the road or towing. All the benefits are there of having sway bars because it plants the wheels on the road. Now for more information about Hellwig products, just head on over to tooltalk.tv. I'll have some links and some more information right there for you. And I'll catch you next Tuesday for another episode of Tool Talk.